We're building a simple cabin style house in Alaska to resale. Last week, we were able to get the kitchen in. This week, we're gonna try to get all the interior trim done. This is such an exciting step for this little house that we're building to be able to be doing the interior finish. So this is gonna take basically a raw shell and make it into a home. So the first step is flooring. We're gonna go with a vinyl plank flooring. I love it for the easy to install. It's affordable and most importantly, it's family friendly and very durable. I wanted seamless flooring throughout so it's easy to clean up and sweep. So this includes flooring that is in the entryway, in the kitchen, in the bathrooms. So waterproof is very important. We chose this kind of a whitewashed uh, would look because I didn't want anything on the floor that would compete with the beautiful wood ceilings above. I love this flooring because there's very minimal waste when you install it. So as you're laying it, your tail end piece of your previous row becomes your starter piece for your next row. Um, and it goes together really quick. You can simply score and snap it for most of the straight cuts. Um, and it just kind of snaps together and it's very DIY friendly and you know just in a matter of a couple days you could really install quite a bit of this flooring and really transform your space and give you a surface that's easy to clean and easy to maintain. I love that we were able to put this in the bathroom and um, we're confident that it'll protect the subfloor and the framing of the house from moisture we finally are getting a toilet in. It's super exciting to see all the fixtures going in and, you know, things starting to actually function and work in this house. So one of the downsides of this family home is there just was not enough space for a dedicated playroom for children. So one of the ideas I had was what if we were to make the bedrooms, which are on the main level, very plush and comfortable with carpeting. So it encouraged kids to naturally play in their bedrooms. Um, I have toddlers, we have three kids, you know, we've grown up with them and I know just a soft floor is where they prefer to play. So I'm hoping that by adding the carpet in there, it'll keep some of the toy clutter out of the main living space. Okay, so with all of the flooring done, we can start working on the interior doors. So we purchased these from Lowe's off the shelf and um, are just installing them in all of the openings. Once all the doors are in, we can start working on the baseboard trim. I wanna keep the trim in this house very simple because one, it's more affordable, and two, long-term, it's um, easier to clean. So there's no little fancy detailing or edges that you have to get in there and scrub. It's you know just very easy to dust and vacuum around. And um, for the baseboard, we went with the real wood trim so it would be easy to repair and refinish should you need to. We pre-painted all of our baseboard trim and all of our stair trim, which we're gonna to get to in a second, um, just to make it easier to install um, so we're not painting it in place and getting the paint on the flooring. So the last really unfinished part of this house is the stairs. 
So what we did was pre-finished some um, one by 12 boards and took off the temporary treads that we had on place for construction. We're gonna use the existing stringers that we've cut out um, when we were in the framing stage. Notice how we kept the stringer about an inch off the wall. That's so we can create a skirt to trim out the side of the stairs. And um, this will also protect the walls and make it all look finished. So the skirt, we just uh, really cut it to the angle of the stairs, which you know you can figure that with your stair, stair calculations. It just drops in there, um, and then you have to you know cut the top and the bottom off if needed, if it protrudes past or under the stair system. It does take a little thinking, and um, you know I like to pencil some lines on the wall to get it just right. Um, but it is such a huge difference and it'll save you so much time in trim out later on. So once we got the skirts on the wall side of the stairs, we're gonna start working on the risers. And the risers were just one by eight boards that we primed and painted white and then nailed them on top of the stairs. The final step is the treads. I went ahead and we cut those to size and then stained them to match the ceiling and we'll put a couple coats of floor appropriate poly on them and nail them down. We still have quite a bit of work to do on the stairs just because the railing is integrated into the, um, the trim out of the exposed side of the stairs. So, you know, next week we'll start working on the railing system. With all the flooring done, with the baseboard in, with all the doors in, the doors painted, we are looking so good. I'm so excited for this next stage because it's my stage. I get to start building furniture for this house. So make sure you take a second to subscribe if you haven't already. And we appreciate you watching and we'll see you next Monday with a brand new video.